for stopping by and spending some time with me. I am Joy and I would like to take a moment to extend a warm welcome to all the new subscribers. It's my hope that you are equipped with the tools that help you heal and empower you as you journey towards your destiny. Welcome back to all the returning subscribers. I am so glad that you are here and I appreciate your time. The narcissist is a diabolical swamp creature. Anyone who has been involved with a narcissist, whether it was a professional or an interpersonal relationship, can relate to the thought that the narcissist is a monster, a swamp creature, a diabolical swamp creature. When we consider something to be diabolical, we think of things such as it being ungodly, wicked, evil, infernal, demonic, satanic. It has all the characteristics of the devil. Now, anything that is demonic has an evil spirit within it. And it's no secret that all mankind are spiritual beings having, having an earthly journey. We know that there are obviously good and evil spirits all around us. The work of the devil is intentional. He has an agenda to mislead the people of God off the path that he has predestined for them. We have all been called to greatness. We have all been marked with a unique talent, gift, anointing, or purpose that will not just cause us to live a meaningful life, but it will allow us to edify the lives of those who are around us. We have all been equipped to do some good with our lives. That raggedy devil cannot stand to see God's divine purpose go forth, and he cannot stand to see God's children living meaningful lives. And so what does he do? He employs his minions to wreak havoc in people's lives. But you see, for this assignment, he needs someone who is willing and ready to drink his Kool-Aid. The devil's Kool-Aid is a toxic concoction, full of lies, deception. It's thick and mucky, and it reeks of doom and destruction. And anyone or anything that drinks the devil's Kool-Aid is doomed. Pain, turmoil, torment, are catching up to them. The greedy narcissist readily gulps the Kool-Aid. And as this thick, sticky substance fills up their empty shell, the narcissist continues to drink up, greedy, every last drop of the sewer water. And then they are indoctrinated into evil. The narcissist is now a minion for the devil and ready to be deployed. They are given their assignment, and they begin to work intentionally engaging in evil acts. Everything that this swamp creature narcissist does is premeditated. When they first meet their targets, they size them up to see if there is any viable loophole that they can gain access to the soul of the target and get a reward for their leader, the devil. You see, the narc will be promoted by the great deceiver, the devil, with an extra dose of Kool-Aid every time they successfully dim the lights of a target. The swamp creature's reward is a boast of confidence that drives them to go after more and more supply, more and more fuel until they are able to get the elusive grade A supply. Yet. The entire time the narcissist's mind is fully functioning, they are well aware of what is right and what is wrong. The narcissist knows that they have compromised their morality and they have thrown away any and all ethics into the swamp. This creature does not care because when it looks around, all the greedy narcissist sees is light. The lights of supply sources all around them and so this creature sets out to get more supply so that they can receive another pat on the on the back and another shot of the devil's kool-aid every now and then this greedy creature drinks way too much kool-aid and it takes on a target that it underestimates the super empath 
The super empath has the power to shatter this creature to pieces. And it's the brightness of the super empath's light that makes this creature salivate and desire the reward that comes from taking down the super empath. You see, the reward is greater because of the power of the super empath. And so what does this creature do? It transforms into an illusion of light. After all, its father is an angel of light. And it lays forth the greatest lies and skillfully begins to deceive the super empath. This creature becomes the envy of all other creatures in the swamp as it parades the super empath, completely ignorant to the fact that its time is running out. The sand in the hourglass is starting to thin out, just like the super empath's patience. It's just a short while before this diabolical swamp creature feels the wrath of the super empath. You see, the super empath has an assignment of its own and the work that awaits the super empath must go forth. And that is why the super empath has been equipped with tenacity, endurance, strength, and vulnerability. The super empath is not ashamed of being transparent and being corrected. They are relentless in their desire to be great. The swamp creature lost. It lost the very moment that it thought the super empath would be satisfied with the devil's dark, thick, and mucky Kool-Aid. You see, the inside of the super empath was already full of filled with qualities that make them who they are. There is simply no room within them to withhold a single dose of that stank Kool-Aid. The swamp creature and its raggedy, dusty leader fail to understand that according to John, Chapter 1, verse 5, and the light shines in darkness, and the darkness cannot overcome it. The super empath will inevitably regurgitate that stinky Kool-Aid, and yes, it may make the super empath sick for a minute. Sadness, pain, remorse, guilt will be emotions that the super empath will feel after sipping on that nasty Kool-Aid. But once they begin the process of detoxing, their light is not just restored, it is amplified because, the, because that swamp creature serves as a reminder to the super empath of who they are and who they belong to. The super empath will always rise and when they begin to work in their passion, purpose, call, or assignment, they will effect change that cannot and will not be reversed. It simply cannot be undone because it is done in truth, light, and in the power of the one who sent them. Meanwhile, back at the swamp, this creature sits in the corner with its tail between its legs, licking its wounds, realizing that the Kool-Aid it drank was not what it was made out to be. It stank. But because of the residue that is already within, it is embedded in this swamp creature, hate, envy, bitterness, arrogance and vengefulness, it goes back to its master to grovel for another ounce of Kool-Aid, the basic supply starter kit. It has to downgrade because the injury that was caused by the super empath is painful and it will take a long time for the swamp creature to overcome that pain. Sometimes they are never able to recover the injury that they receive from a super empath. And so to ensure that they are successful, they have to downgrade. Don't forget, this swamp creature is lazy and it simply does not have what it takes to handle another defeat after it's been handed its raggedy, dusty behind by the super empath. It never learns. The swamp creature never learns. And it continues to drink the devil's Kool-Aid.